Okay. I should just talk about it right here? Yeah, you're good. Okay, sorry. Siri here. Ah! Let me know if I can help. Siri, turn off, Siri. Okay, you guys. So today, for this little quick video, I'm just gonna show you guys two ways I like to stencil something. Um, the first way is we're gonna print it out and I'm gonna put it directly on the stencil paper and trace it. And the second way, I'm gonna do it on my iPad and print that out. Let's get it going. So first, for this uh, video um, to put on a stencil, we're gonna find a cherry blossom. That's the stencil we're gonna be using. Okay, let's get it, dude. Let's get it, dude. <laughs> so um, right now, I'm on Pinterest. I'm on Pinterest right here. And all I'm gonna do is type in cherry blossom. And we're just gonna find one that I like. Um, all I'm doing is just, uh, Finding the outline of it and then I shade it my own way. Some people they could just they just draw it on them. I like to find a, a like a certain kind of style. Like like one I think I like this one right here. Yeah, I'll just so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna screenshot it. I'm gonna go into Procreate right here. Boom. Procreate is an app that's I think it's only for uh, Apple products. So boom. This is gonna be the stencil I'm gonna use. So first, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put it black and white. So I save, save some ink. And then, so I got it black and white. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to go into, I'm gonna print it out. Okay, let's go over here. So the printer I'm using, this is the Brother printer. I'm using the Brother app to connect to it to print. The paper I'm using, some people want to ask is the copy and print paper is probably super super normal yeah all right so this is that's the cherry blossom okay okay and then we're gonna get some stencil paper so we this is our little scrap of stencil paper it's only a little bit so i'm only gonna use a little one but the stencil paper that i use boom spirit right here now let me make sure my pencil's charging just in case. Oh yeah, boom. Check out this cool little handbag I got. This is my buddy Raheem's gear. If you guys wanna check it out, the link will be in the description. You can find him on Instagram. He's a really cool dude and he's a hell of a fucking skater. Straight up. So, I take this part off. I don't use this to stencil on shit. So usually with this kind of stuff, you just throw it away. Stencil, paper, I put it right above it, and then I'm just gonna stencil something real quick. So, let's see. So like I said with cherry blossoms, I like to kind of shade it my own way. But just for this video, I'm just showing you how I like to stencil two different ways. And this first way is directly from the paper to the stencil. Okay, that's the first, so I'll go like this. Boom, that's my cherry blossom. So from here, I'll either use this, put it directly on him, or I could go put it in the copy machine to resize it, make it if I need to make it bigger or smaller. That way it's in my iPad, so just in case if I did put this stencil on him and I f it up, I can erase it and then this is all messed up now. I can't even use it again, but I copied it. So it's in my iPad so I can just print it again. So now that it's in the copier, I'm gonna go into the Brother, Brother app right here. This is what it looks like. I print and scan. And all I'm gonna do is press scan, scan, noise, boom, right here. There's, there's my stencil. Now I'm gonna go in, save to photos, and then I'm gonna go back into Procreate, and then I'll go new new layer, insert a photo, boom, there it is. 
and then I'll just show you guys. I'll just, I'm just gonna fucking print it, and I'll put it next to the other ones. So that's one way to do it two ways. All right, so we're about to print this right now, and this is just the outline, and then I'm gonna put that into a stencil real quick. So we literally, boom. So this is the cherry blossom that I just printed, and this is the cherry blossom that I outlined from the stencil paper. I could put this one on him right now. Boom, put him on. I'm gonna show you how to turn this one into uh, uh, one, one that I can put right on him. Got another little sheet. So for this, put it right here, like that. This is a Thermofax. Um, this is a heat one. Let's get it, let's get it heated up. So most of the time, you just wanna run it through one time just to get it working, heating it up, or at least for this one. Boom. So now with this, you put it under the paper and you leave this on if you're gonna use it like this. And then you put the this in there like that. Yeah, you put that in there because it'll be easier. It, it transfers it all the way through. If you don't have this, then it's gonna get stuck in there. Okay, so now we put it in there. Heat it up and then you'll see right, boom. That's the stencil right there. And then, so I'm gonna take this out, and then we're gonna, okay, look. Stencil, right there. And then, off of that. So this one, obviously, you can't use this as a stencil because it has nothing on it. This is right here. And I'm gonna cut it up. Boom, there you go. Two different stencils with one direction to do it. The one direction was from just drawing it on a paper. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on the iPad. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to do a stencil on the iPad on how I like to do it. So we got what we're gonna stencil out right here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna create another layer. I'm gonna go into my pen. So I like to use the ink technical pen and I just put it all the way down. Make sure my layer's there. Check your layers. So now I'm just gonna outline it like this. Whoa. I've been outlining with the iPad a lot recently. The reason I use the red is because it's easy to, uh, to pick apart what I already stenciled and what I didn't. Some people like to use like the, the neon green or orange. I just use red. Okay, so I'm done outlining it. Usually with, with, uh, with these, I do it, I shade it my own way so I don't get too crazy with the stenciling. When I take off the bottom layer, Boom, that's my outline. But first I gotta turn this. I go into the adjustments, this right here. Go into my layer. I take down the saturation. Then I take it down the brightness to make it a little darker. Now I'm gonna go in here. Boom. I'm gonna export it and then I'm gonna print. And then it's gonna print one copy. Boom. So I'm gonna cut it out. Just the same steps. Put it in there, bottom, like that. Go ahead and let it go through. There's my stencil, cut it up. All right, there you go. All right, you guys, so this is three way of making a stencil technically now. So this is, this is drawn on from the stencil paper directly to the paper. This one is copied and then printed and then Thermofax. This one is iPad and um, Thermofax. All right, if you found this video helpful, uh, go ahead to like, comment, and subscribe. It was a very quick video. This is how I will stencil something. There's, this is the different ways I like to do it. Shout out to Matt. Like I said, thank you guys for checking it out. Real quick video on how I like the stencil. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how I like to place the stencil. Go ahead and check that one out too.